Um, so if you could just introduce yourself and say something about the project. Sure. Can I just ask, am I like looking right at the camera or looking at you? Or what? Yeah, you can look at me. Okay. Um, my name is Chris Warner. Um, I'm the student team leader for the 2009 Cornell Decathlon team. Um, I don't know if you need any background information about the project or just Cornell in particular. Yeah, just tell us a little bit about this house and the project here. Okay. So it's been a two-year process. It started with an early conceptual design. Um, the features of the silo house are supposed to kind of correspond with industrial agricultural aesthetics. So the grain silo is the first thing that comes to mind and we've nicknamed it the silo house. Uh, we had a slightly different take on the grain silo so rather than use galvanized steel or aluminum we're actually using a core 10 steel which is why it's bright red. So the material property of core 10 is that it oxidizes on the outside layer and seals in the rest of the steel. And, uh, we've actually been watering our house as much as we've been watering our landscape to try and encourage this. Cool, so it's not actually a, an old silo. It's not a, an old silo. Okay, cool. So what other systems, of building systems, are you using that are unique to your project? Sure. Um, other than solar electric, the photovoltaic panels that we have on the roof, and solar thermal, which we have on the back side of the house, we're engaging a few research opportunities with this house, so I think one of the most novel things that we're doing is actually using the skin of our building as a preheat for our domestic hot water. We have copper tubing going through the corrugations, and as the steel heats up, it in turn heats up our hot water, um, hopefully saving us some energy. What about the uh, landscape here? The landscape's a really prominent feature of the house, so when we travel, we want to create atmosphere everywhere we go, and because this is supposed to be like a very agrarian style house, or we called it post-industrial, um, we wanted tall grasses, and um, we're actually using several well, we're using uh, gray water filtration through our landscape, so there's another research project called the Nutrient Film Technique, and we actually have a, uh, a series of potted plants that kind of snakes through our landscape, and it's gravity-fed from a high point to a low point. It takes about 24 hours for gray water and rainwater to cycle through the NFT system. By the time it reaches the end, it's potable water, or at least it's certainly good enough to, to water our landscape with. Cool. Uh, your design is really impressive looking. Is there anything that sort of your average homeowner could take away from this project? Well, I think we're really trying to promote solar energy as something that can be interesting and fun, and it is an alternative energy right now. It's more expensive than coal, but we're trying to raise public awareness of the price of photovoltaic panels over the course of the three competitions that Cornell's competed in has come down uh, significantly and efficiency in photovoltaics has gone up significantly over the last six years. So I've been tracking the Cornell houses since 2005. Cornell you know, Architecture becoming involved in this project and uh, to see that kind of change over six years is impressive and I think that that's part of the idea behind this house. I mean it is a show house. I don't know that you're going to see suburban communities of the silo house but to have people tour this and excited about it.